It goes like this. Jodi hodzo ha hodzo eya dondana haltin go. Zil sekho do da ask a digi alzo the nebukeya a kwe shaho wan. Zilpa the lahte a kwet e ko jo wutrache a lako. Yagahok ambi yete less ami jode jonago al tin din. A good aushis yat e a koko in the lada cos a din. A quit e so sonna dahtinis hos. So that's how the poem goes. When I say hos do hahozo, that's that means the state of Arizona, not not word for word, but it is the general environment there. It's 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 pretty warm. It's dry, and it's a it's a big chunk of land that has these qualities. And when we say don dahtin go, then that means that there's no it, there's no rain there. It's a it's a desert area. But don dahtin. So when you say do da in Navajo. Do da means no. You can say no, or you can say the ga. These little tonal qualities like that. We also have uh, terms that you can place in between do da, and it will negate whatever it is that you're trying to say. So when I say it is not, it is not loud. Or let's see. Maybe not loud, but it is not bright. Do atintin da. We say that it is not happening. I negate what is being said. It is the opposite. So that's what that means. Don da haltin. So na haltin is the root word here being used. So we're talking about the moisture, the precipitation. So when you say go, there's there's no rain. It's pretty straightforward. And then zil, zil means a mountain. We have mountains. Tsekho, it's like we have canyons in that region. We have things like mesas there in that region as well. A stand up out of the out of the middle of the desert of these tall rock structures just standing there, and it makes up the interesting topology of the landscape that is the Navajo Nation. The Nebukeya. That's why I say the Nebukeya Akwe Shahoan. Jona. Josh Dosh Josh Nejona. Akwe. And then we have a place that is north of the mountains, on the other side of the mountains. Zil Belahde Akwe. There. So, like every when we when we look into the sky at night, we 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 can see the Milky Way galaxy. So that is yaga hok an biyete says an yijode mjona ko alden din. So it is this beautiful sky, a beautiful sight to see in the sky. It's Milky Way. Milky Way galaxy, way deep into space, into outer space that is beyond the skies here on the Navajo Nation, that I'm, this place that I'm describing. Well, right now, I'm in Minnesota, but where I, where I come from, it's like that in, in the, on the tribal lands. And then we have this we have this word it says that mean that just means 
the way that is for me that is very it's it's beautiful it's it's, it's the right it's a right feeling i feel great i feel wonderful i feel good i mean you can you can make it as simple as that but it's the, depending on what kind of context you're you're in you can really really put that expression and make it make it your own and then so basically that means if there are like no clouds given that there are no clouds especially when there are no clouds in the sky so the the, the key word here is no clouds in the sky we that's that's how we can see the stars up there Ah, a quick that means every night. That's that's what it means. Then sotlane, sotlane, sot. The the root word for that part is sot, sot. The Navajo means the stars up in the sky. Sotlane is many stars. You can say laigo as well. Is 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 many. Is it's it's almost countless. You could say, or depending on the contents, depending on the context, you could say, lago, just, just so much as an excessive amount of something, lago, so, so it's th these are associated words in Navajo, these are, these are sparkling, so the sparkling stars in the sky within the Milky Way galaxy. All these, this, this beautiful, beautiful things that you can see up there, if you have, especially when you have no clouds at night. That's what it means. So, I hope you enjoyed that one little thing I wanted to share before I uh, sign off for a moment. <laughs> Take care.